Guy Meadows is a professor in the Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering Department and in Atmospheric, Oceanic, and Space Science. That means he trolls for grants on websites like the one for the United States Defense Advanced Projects Agency, or DARPA. We noticed there was a request for proposals to develop an autonomous surface vehicle that could persist on the open ocean for long periods of time. And when you have enough acronyms in your title, the kind of thing that floats your boat is rejecting the very concept of a boat on its merits. Part of our thinking was if you're a small boat on the ocean surface, it's very inefficient to spend energy climbing those mountains, sliding down the other side, trying to stay within a particular area of the ocean. Uh, seabirds in nature passively drift across the ocean surface. When they get to an area that they want to depart, they pop above the waves and fly in that very efficient zone. And that's a, made a tremendous amount of sense to us, so we took our cues from nature. And if you think you're looking at your run-of-the-mill remote control airplane, well, think again. We carry, of course, a comprehensive sensor suite to allow us to interact with the environment. Waterproof ultrasonic altimeter, 900 megahertz radio modem, high efficiency space grade solar panels, a gallium arsenide array, power regulation for the computer, temperature sensors throughout the vehicle. We can get wind and water temperature, battery temperature, motor temperature, computer compartment the temperature. Torpedo probes give us airspeed by the difference between the dynamic pressure and the static pressure of the air. So skip the hobby shop. This is a high-tech machine originally designed with Defense Department specs in mind. But now that the so-called flying fish is becoming a reality, the sky's the limit. Our thinking now has evolved that there are a tremendous number of uh, science applications for an unattended vehicle that can persist on the ocean. Tracking the edge of oil spills, tracking the edge of harmful algal blooms, watching over municipal water intakes are all uh, a number of applications that we are pursuing for this vehicle now that we're developing the technology. It's no surprise that a tidal wave of imaginative new applications is being floated by the team that rocked the boat from the start. I think we surprised the sponsors. The concept of, of a boat is well established. Humans have been sailing across the ocean surface for thousands of years, but I don't think anyone ever thought about flying. So we both provide new challenges as well as new opportunities. The challenge is that the primarily aeronautic design can only withstand waves up to six feet high, which only has Guy looking for more natural inspiration. What we believe is that a vehicle, again, emulating nature that looks more like a manta ray would be survivable on the ocean surface. This is where we want to, to, to move, is to a vehicle that has a tremendous surface area to allow for a greater solar array that is low profile, that stays on the ocean surface, has a very low probability of being turned over in adverse conditions, and is able to persist for up to a month totally unattended. <laughs>